Well, they thought they had a 40-year deal that would keep their sewer bills low. But just two years later, customers in five municipalities in York County may face big rate hikes again. Seth Kaplan joins us live tonight. Hey, Seth. Hey, Alicia and Valerie. Yeah, joining you from, uh, let's be honest, not the most picturesque place in York County, but an important one. York City owned their own wastewater treatment plant. This wastewater treatment plant. York City made the decision to sell that, um, which had an effect on all the townships that use that. Manchester, West Manchester, Spring Garden, York Township, and North York Borough. All five realized their rates would go up. PA American Water was buying the system, but... We came to a mutually acceptable agreement that we felt was a fair compromise for them as the owner and for our residents to ensure that they receive the lowest rate possible for as long as possible. 40 years. So you thought this was settled? We did. We did. Um, until recently, and we, we had some testimony from a gentleman from the PUC, um, and um, it, it engaged us to, to perk our ears up a little bit and, and concern for our residents and the rates thereof. This testimony in a rate case, PA American asking to raise rates elsewhere in Pennsylvania, the Public Utilities Commission's Bureau of Investigation and Enforcement saying PA American made, quote, bogus arguments justifying the lower rates in York County than elsewhere. York municipalities say they just had good leverage, a genuine threat they would connect to other sewer lines if PA American didn't play ball. We came together and, and put ourselves in a pretty good situation. Yeah, the, the municipalities are actually very happy with our relationship with PA American. PA American agrees, saying that negotiated contracts are now being challenged despite the fact they've been in place for nearly two years. We and all parties who negotiated and entered into these contracts believe they should remain in place. The PUC says its Bureau of Investigation and Enforcement doesn't speak for the agency and commissioners will make their decision by August 7th. We have a 40 year agreement. We'd like to keep it that way. And simply put, we want to be left alone. Kelly Kelchin, Tim James say, in fact, they're just angry. They even have to spend taxpayer money right now on lawyers trying to protect a 40 year deal. They thought they didn't have to worry about for another 38 years. Live in New York County, Seth Kaplan, ABC 27 News.